All right. Tight toes. Oh, body drop. Body drop in. So, so it's 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 fun because I already, I could already tell. I think we're going to get right into a few different ways of looking at this and entering into this today. Yeah. What are you thinking? I think I mean I think they did a good job with Gonzaga, you know, and but you know Gonzaga Nagy is very you know kind of constrains. A lot of loud, a lot of other shifting. You know, when you kind of get up higher on the on the shoulders and head, people have a tendency to wobble a little bit. So I think you can take those lessons and kind of put that in there, and then slowly start changing it from kind of this angle to this angle to this angle to, to the, to finally get to this angle. I don't know if we'll get there today, um, but I love the kata that we have, uh, Kubiwa from Tishin, because it basically the person ends up. In a mood for diatonics. It, 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 it's it, it, especially with the ending. It, yeah. it mimics a lot of the same concepts that make for good tight coach. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so that will be that'll be a lot of fun. That'll be fun. I'm looking forward. Let's take let's do let's it. a shot. All right. All right, Mate. So throw of the week. Tight coach. Blind drop. All right. Now, whereas in Gansaki Nage, uh, you could you got to the um, you know, you know, Kentucky and I can be taught in a couple of different ways and stuff like that. Same thing with Thai Coach, but actually Thai Coach is actually, you know, a lot of other different arts. And so depending on the art you're looking at, you'll see the throat taught a little differently. And the one thing that about Thai Coach is Thai Coach actually has a very different degree of interest in where you are. All right. So as if you're ever doing research on Thai Coach, it's because of that this body drop, this throat, it's kind of a common throat. I mean, it's a common way to enter a throat. And we're going to look at it very similar to the way we ended Gansake Nage last week. So all the principles that we talked about, that hurricane, that eye of the storm, that rotation, that moving out, that using the left arm, pull, all those things apply, literally, all the same. All we're going to do to start is start starting from zero position. And instead of pulling down and coming in here like we were doing last week, this hand is going to go up here. All, right. All the same things. I'm still pulling, I'm still moving, but I'm going to be up here now. Getting in front, coming to. Taking them down. Literally, that's the only thing that was in this version that we're going to start with. That's the only thing that's going to change. Okay. Instead of pulling that behind this hand from behind to get into here, I'm going to move. I'm going to keep it here and I'm going to come and grab me a little bit closer around the head. Okay? So if you if that stuck, if that stuck from last week, this will be relatively easy. If it didn't stick, you'll have to relearn all that. All right. All right, let's go. All right, Monte. So there's a this throw feels a little bit different than Don Seki, but you you guys sort of get the feeling that we're talking about, which is good. Uh, Miss Jack, if I can show you right here. Uh, let's talk about the feet for a second and what the feet are going to do. Uh, I'm seeing people get in, they're getting there, they're gathering here, they're looking good, they're starting to wind. And then this back foot kind of stays stationary or doesn't really turn much. And what that does is that by the time I get to here, um, I, I kind of stop rotating. My hip stops me from going. So as you rotate and as you drop out of this body drop throw, let this hip and foot rotate. Much cleaner drop. You're still achieving this position right here. That's essentially what you're looking to do. You're sticking yourselves here. And look at how different my body is from here to here. Okay? Right? Keep going. See how that, so see how that right foot stays in front of the head? Not on the front. Not. Okay. So, let's start with work. So, the thigh toes is, is tighter. Right? We have, we have a little bit more tightness. And typically what happens with this is they can wind themselves up faster, but then they wind themselves out quicker. And the problem is, is what I'm seeing, which I kind of have to here, is this is kind of getting here, it's getting tight, but then we're, we're here. And now we're relying on this whipping speed to just take Matt down, and it may not work. If Matt is, so as I do this, you're just gonna pop in front of me, all right? That's what you're asking. Because we're not blocking that side of the leg off at all. Side approach invariably does get on this side, it kind of goes up a little bit. All right, so we're going to start getting this hip in there. So instead of thinking of just winding yourself around and then just trying to pull the person on it, yeah, that, I'm, I'm opening up this leg to step right through. So what do I have to do? I have to beat him with speed. 
well, I don't want to rely on that. All right, so just like you're starting back here, great, I'm starting to just as I come in, I'm actually still going to move over to block that hip lock, get him on that leg. So now, as I remove the hip, he can fall. Okay, so what I'm seeing is everyone's doing it on this, they're coming here and they're trying to do the throw up of this side. He'll set every single time. Unless I beat him with speed, and we don't want to have to rely on that. It's, it's completion. It, 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 it's, it's achieving completion, correct? Right. The other thing that I see that typically happens in this is this becomes a battering ram to the ground. <laughs> Which is wicked cool. Let's not rely on it. Okay. Let's still have this left hand kind of be doing. This is fun. We can just grab the way on there. Cool. I mean, I'm happy with this. I mean, happy with that. I mean, happy, but let's not have this trailing clothesline be the thing that actually does it. Okay, so now as you're going into it this time, remember me point. As you're turning, instead of turning back out with this foot, make sure this foot comes in far enough. So I give that two things. You're going to have a balance. You've got that one foot. From here, we're going to make this. I'm going to look this way. Okay? So you can come over that hip a little bit more. Make sense? Okay? Go ahead. Mate. Uh, so, everyone's actually kind of, kind of getting the point, the, the general idea of like, applying you know, rotating and taking someone down. Uh, but let's talk about position, because I think position could be making uh, a big difference as far as how you're going to execute out. Um, I see everyone starting to work. I'm making sure they have more to do. See their entries taking more balance. This is good. You probably notice that there is a not far enough, kind of conducive, maybe too far. You guys probably noticed that. Let's talk about where that position leads you. Ultimately, we're trying to take him. Uh, let's see if we can stand right over this midline. Kind of what I was talking about. Right, here, right in the middle. So here's the center of gravity. Right down over this line. Come, uh, come right on in, come right on in so that way you can see. Uh, we're kind of pulling him in and we're taking his balance off over that line, right? Everyone kind of sees where a straight line is. That's going to be the spot where he kind of falls. So from here, I need to fall out of the way. Uh, I'm seeing some folks trying to throw him here or use their body to take him down from here. Just keep him really tight. Step off line and rotate. So go down very, very easy. This. Uh, this doesn't have to be, <laughs> you know, it doesn't have to be uh, lugging him around and flopping him into the river. Uh, instead, you're just, you're taking some of that balance and then getting it out of the way. And that rotation and getting out of the way does the throw for you, right? Position-wise, if you're too far across, be careful with this. You'll have to kind of readjust, mm -hmm. right? You'll have to go out on that other line. Uh, oh, last note, if you're too far in front of them, because I've seen this a lot, I'm seeing folks get locked onto their heels as they go to this, because you're too, you're too far away from them. Make sure you're nice and close, so that way you can stay on the balls of your feet with control. All right? Cool, keep going. Okay, so Mate. So again, so I started so back so here, it's been a little more of a upward angle, there's a little more of an overreach, and then it's of a side turn. And so let's start kind of incorporating that eye of the heart, he's like doing this thing. Let's kind of start spinning this way just a smidge. And to accomplish that, what we're going to do is, because it's very easy on this version to get really, like, down here, right? Uh, so my, my, my sensor just becomes kind of working on this, on this kind of uh, vector. Does everyone see that? So I'm not going to work on that vector. I'm going to actually pick him up as I step through. So that's actually, and all I'm doing is I'm just raising his shoulder, I'm raising his arm, and I'm just coming more of an upward angle as I come through. Okay? It, it works. <laughs> I mean, just the, the sheer body motion is really That makes it weak. So I'm just going to pick this up and out. So instead of coming down and in and getting it, I'm going up and in. He's holding on to me, remember? He's holding on to me. Mm -hmm. So don't think of it as necessarily a hand grab and picking that up. 
Think of it as he's here. I'm picking my hands up and I'm turning. Okay? You can have your hands still on and it's fine. But where I'm, I want him to feel like now instead of being crushed down into the foot like this, he's up like this. Alright? You want to see what I'm talking about? It's a little bit higher than it looks. Alright? Give it a shot. Give it a shot. Okay. Um, it's really fun when, when people uh, when people are working on the strong particular. One of the things that, that it's really great to feel, and once you start getting it, it's really great when you get this uh, kind of nice pop of the leg. Everyone kind of tends to focus on this leg. Let's talk about this one because this is body drop. Body drops, and this is the actual leg you're dropping to. Let's actually rotate a little bit. I'm like trying to talk behind me. This is the the leg and hip I'm dropping to. So. I need to let that drop be, because the emphasis is what sets my position. This hip is kind of leading that movement. Later, when you get into, uh, say, say, dropping out of the throat to a knee, here you are. It's important that I drop the hip and emphasize where this hip was going. In order to, to, to put your hip in the correct place, you kind of line them up. Um, I'm seeing a lot of folks like breaking angle and stuff still, or not letting the hip rotate. Here's this parallel line between his toes. Stepping back on the line, dropping to the hip and rotating. When I drop to this hip, that frees this leg and hip to rotate. If you don't drop to that hip and you try to do this, you get pulled back on your heels and your weight gets locked. Drop to this hip and let everything rotate. This way. Hi. Yeah, because remember, we're changing the angle of the throat. Yes, that's right. part of what sets that angle. Right. Before we were throwing, everything was here. He was rotating on this level. He's turning his throat, so he's pretty good vertical. He's on this level. He's on this level the whole time, right? Shoulder tips were always on this level. Well, now we're changing it this way, which means the back side's dropping, the front side's coming up. So not this way, this way. So now, as he picks me up, now, do you see the angle change, the shoulders, hips, everything changing? So it's not just the front, it's the back side. That's what he's talking about. I'm talking about the front side, he's talking about the back side. We're talking about the same thing. Mm -hmm. Whole thing's changing. Yeah, and, and, you, and you need both to, to work. Yeah. You, need, you need them to work together. That drop is huge. Remember, spotting drop, not spotting rotate. Yeah. It's still rotating. It's changing the hurricane from going this way to. Not body transfer circulation. Yeah. <laughs> That's a different boss. That's a different boss. It's a pants. Oh, Alright, make, make sense? Complicated theory, but basically we're just taking this and we're doing this. So it means this side's going to draw up more, this side's going to lift up more. It's going to lift this up, drop this down. Okay? Alright, go ahead. Okay, Mate, Mate. Mate. Okay, so we have got to the point now, you guys are, are getting it pretty decent. Um, but now, because you're getting pretty decent, if your entry's off a little bit, if the person's off a little bit, and so now you're trying to bring them back into the throw. Well, first thing, let's see if we can get them to the right place every time. But also experiment with the fact that I should have brought them. Hold on, and then so I'm going to go in on it. I'm coming through, so I'm picking her up. But all of a sudden, instead of I'm off a little bit, and she's kind of oh, she's going backwards. Oh man, she reacted differently than I thought. It makes no sense for me now to turn all the way around and take Lynn's falling that way. She wants to fall there. You've invited me to have you fall there. It's like, no, Lynn, follow me. No, I want to be a gentleman. Lynn wants to fall there. I'll have her fall there. You're welcome. So as I pick her up, as I kind of come in, Lynn's, oh, she's toppling back. So she's adjusting. Fine. If you can look at it, I'm actually kind of in the position for Thai Coach right now. I'm just not here, I'm here. She's le she's using the hip still to hold herself up. She's trying to sit this down. Let's go down. The same premise is here. I mean, what's changed? Just put your hands up. Instead of being here and relying on the hip here, she's here and the hip, she's relying on the hip here. And she's still relying on the hip to hold her up. Let's move it out of the way. Okay. So in Barada, so you can see. See, we all see what I'm talking about? That fulcrum is now just shifted and instead of going this way, it's just over here. He's falling. He doesn't need to have to. Oh, man. He's already falling this way, right? Why? Come on, no, 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 buddy. I want you to fall over here. Just, just 
stuff out through the side that way. Just take them down. All right, try to not have them getting up this way. We want to try and see if we can get the good throw. But if you happen to find this, open up your aperture because I don't want you to think that, oh, it can only be done this way. If I'm going this way, they're falling. I have to bring it back. No, no. It's kind of like going super deep with down second and just continuing walking. It's, exa it's the exact same thing. It's the exact same thing. All right, go ahead. Um, Mate. So, so real quick, just a, a, maybe a fast upper body note for us, uh, Adam, if I could like to sure. um, When we were working down second last week, uh, it's very easy to, to look at like a very sterile down second and say, he's lifting us all, and doing this all with this big right hand. Uh, you know, painted orange, you know, would you? But when we actually start, okay, now we, now we see the geometry of it. Oh, but it's actually more of this pull, right? It's more of this pull that, that's sort of the setup for down second down the road, yeah? Uh, same thing with this tight coach. Same thing with this tight coach. Uh, whether, whether I'm stepping to here, you know, further out, whether I'm stepping to here, a bit more like mid ground, uh, this is getting pulled to me. I'm seeing a lot of folks really emphasizing the right arm. So here it is. Sam coming up on this one. Same thing. I'm keeping this, this sucker tight to me. And notice my knee is facing the ground at the end of this row. I want your knee facing the ground at the end of this row, as opposed to facing up. Uh, a, safety, I don't want someone to go down to your knee. But B, when it's facing ground, I know you fully rotated and you kept that back tight. If, if I try to make this pushy, I, I can already feel all this distance between us. I don't want that distance between us. <laughs> I want us all closer. Hi. Cool, keep going. Thanks. Okay, mate, mate, mate. All right. Okay, so let's, let's move on. Any questions? Questions, questions, questions? There's a, there's a lot to this. this. I mean, there is the. In Sagi Nage, when we looked at it, you kind of had to do it in kind of one place because of the body lock and composition, right? They were tight to you. You turn, I mean, it was right there. It kind of, you, your, your options were kind of limited, right? Because I'm assuming this is the bay, and I'm locking his body. You know, the, old, the only real opening is kind of back there for me. The only escape path is back there for me. That's the only place I feel comfortable for him. But now I'm on the top of his head. Oh, shit, now I'm behind him. Yeah, now, now I can change his angle, so now it opens up the aperture, which makes it a little bit more confusing. All right? But essentially, at the end, it's the same thing. Because now they're a little more kippy, because I'm not dealing with their shoulders and chest. I'm dealing with kind of around their head and their arms, so they have a tendency to kind of roll. So it's more like the dancing, you know, used car guy. The, 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 the direction of their lean kind of helps indicate where to go. Either way, they just get locked. Exactly. You know, if they're here or if they're here, they just get locked, and, they, and they're kind of stuck pivoting around it. And you're trying to move your body in relationship to that right. And, and so that, that extra dimensional uh, variable it kind of screws things up a little bit. But essentially, again, we can look back at it, and you argue we can get second angle with a different hand grip to start. And then we're just slowly, slowly turning it so it throws more this away. Okay? But let's move on to Kappa because we, there's a nice way to actually get into um, high pose from the end of this class. This class is called Kubi Wash, which is either a collar or, or uh, throat ring, something like that. So that way, so I technically had collars back then. So it's uh, seen a couple of, but basically, we're talking about this area. Um, it is completely shit in you, short on level, alright, there's a lot of rotation in it, the start is pretty simple, but you see in the end, there's a lot of rotation, so the kata itself is a right punch, left punch, right punch, right kick, now from here, this is a e this kind of pull, to a shoshin, alright, that's a midi shoshin with a bokiten, and from here, So there's a couple parts to it, but not overly complicated. You guys have probably actually done this kata by accident. In all honesty, at some point in time when you're doing your demo, we're kind of just working on this. But again, so the attack, right punch, left punch, right punch, left kick. All right, so right, left, right, left. All right, that's the attack, all right. First two are Ishimonojis, the two sets of your running The third right, is a cosette here. Alright? 
The kick comes in, punch into your deep hand. Start getting him leaning off his foot. We kind of see, look. Uh -huh. All right. Let's just go there for right now. Fifty more deep. Fifty more deep. Fifty more deep. Okay. All right. Yeah. So send, punch into your deep hand. All right. I don't get it. This version is going to start never land, so I don't mind it. So get to these really cool. Alright, go up here. So it's emoji. Go up there. Make it with emoji. Jose. Okay. Alright. Start. Alright, let's start there. Start there. Then it gets tricky. Mate, mate, mate. So let's talk about that Jose for a second. Don't worry. So that Jose, if you look at it, so one, two, three. That Jose is kind of off to the side. It's not here. It's a bait. I'm off on his arm. I want the kick. I'm going to leave this leg, this whole side on it, because I want this. Or maybe I just happened to find my way there, depending on how good I am. Or maybe I did their act and made it look like I did that. That's I'm really, really good. All right? But this is a bait. This is not, we would really normally be here, right? I'm going to go boom, boom. So I'm here. Oh, no. And that's where that e-hand comes in to kind of actually give him that extra oomph. All right, so let's make sure we can get that. That little uh, off-balancing position. If we just get yeah. Let's get there. Let's get him in this position. As you can see, they still. Oh, my God. Oh, that's why we take the shot up. All right, not stop the technical way down. Yes? When you punch the leg, instead of kind of flying at it, did not affect the rest of the technique? I am punching the leg. Okay, yeah. I am, but also, too, also note, too, this is from a third. So I'm actually not like this. Yeah. I'm not doing like I went into there. Yeah. I'm actually. Okay. I'm actually Pluto Ken punching it. Because I, I don't necessarily want to hit, like, with a gate on you, keep in mind punch it. I don't necessarily want him playing out like that. I just want to stop the punch and just shift him. <laughs> just enough to play a cool happy father. Just wants it to hurt him. Yeah, right. Right. Just want, oh, yeah. And that's, oh, and that's the kind of stuff This is where I'm trying to get him. All right. And the angle's kind of off. And so hitting that, no, I'm actually hitting him like kind of right in the middle. Like, right there. Yeah. Wait, show us your bike thing. <laughs> It's enough to make him, oh my god, stop for a second, because I need him to stop for a second. I can't just be here. I have to know do that, because he's just going to step and come right around on me. Right? I mean, he's going to whoosh. No, I need, to, oh no. I, I need that honest, <laughs> I need that honest response. Okay? So let's see if we can get in that position with that kind of baiting full set. All right, good. Mate, mate. Okay, good, good, good. So now let's go to the end. Let's go to the end. So we've all turned stuff like that. So the right's coming in, ah, the left's coming in, ah, the right's coming in, ah, the kick's coming in. Yeah. All right. So after that immediately hits, we're going to go into a show, a, a mini show shin with a boshi pen to her neck. In doing that, and a couple things. This is pulling back. Oh. Oh, the holy time I touched it. Oh. And then we just go down just a couple of years because she's gonna basically fall where I am. Which I can work on her break point. Okay. So that is uh that. Oh. Right. <laughs> boom, boom. Boom boom. Boom boom. No. Alright, so just from just from the Third one. Kick. So it's this in the neck? Yep. Yeah. It's a boshi ken, it's the side of the neck of the kicking leg. All right, we're breaking it down into parts, but in reality, what I did with Jackie is what you'd be looking at. Just from the third one. The kick, boom, the kick. You never get a chance to put that foot down. Ever. Okay? So break it down into parts if you want. Kick. Motion test. Fine. But in reality, it's boom, boom. Okay? Alright? We good? You guys see the angle that was 
those on? Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, interesting. Mm. All right, good job. Okay, Mate, Mate, you guys are looking good. So the tendency now is to make this bochi pen, like the star on the show, and the bochi pen is just there to prevent them from standing back up. Think of it that way. All right, there, there's still the left arm pull that's, the, that's actually the star of the show. All right, so for a couple times when we come through, as we do this, if he comes in for the second one. Third one. Okay. Hit, hit the show shin angle, and lots of people are going to sell. Go, go right, I'm going over here. I'm going right to the sword. Don't. Uh! One, two. How much more you can I put on me today? Okay. It's way easier for me. So this is from the, from the it's way easier for me to pull him this way than to possibly take him and drive him down over his foot with a bushy pen. It would be darn near impossible for me to do that. This is just here. This is a distraction. You can see anywhere. Or I can see a hand. So to put this there, that's fine. Just to emphasize this to shin to here. Alright, so see, so everyone, that's what I did when I was trying to learn this too. I thought it was a bush can drive right now. It, it's not. <laughs> it's, it's a spacer. It's not, yeah. It's just, it's, it's, it's just, he's in a spot, he kicks. He's here. As I go back into this, he could easily stand back up against me. Right. I mean, he has an option. I'm kind of moving back into a space where he you know, kind of is half occupying. Granted, I'm pulling, but if I'm off a little bit, yeah, exactly, that could happen. But I have this in the hand. So <laughs> that, that doesn't happen. It's just, it's a prevention on a counter. All right, not the technique. Okay? Good. Mate! So, so anyone probably close to paying attention has been seeing Tai Cho slowly bleed for third, for third further into this count. So let's go ahead and own it. This this uh, if I can see this. Yeah, let, let's go ahead and own it and try doing Tai Cho. Ultimately, uh, so okay, so right, left, right, left. Oh, here you are. Right, you've been kind of moving to here. That really thing you drop your head. Already now, if you set a motion here, just slap up, get a little bit tight. Drop. Go ahead and drop to that knee again. Rotate this hip. Bring him right out of the way. Uh, this is this is literally entering for Taito. That's the dropping version. If you get to here, you can also enter for standing version one. You can, oh, <laughs> sorry. You can uh, also enter for standing version two. Uh, or you can work the bow can and drop in this way. Either way is fine. As long as you get that motion, you're kind of doing Taito. Cool? Anyone have any questions? Anyone need to feel their seat? Cool. Let's cool. wrap. 45 minutes. What is going to share with us? Um, the, uh, so first off, uh, any questions or thoughts just come, coming out of what we've seen so far today? Does anyone have anything? Thought question? Huh? Anyone have any questions? Uh, before any question. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll come back. I'll yeah. come back. Uh, so, so we have... Oh, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. No, just rotate that. Yes, uh, that's kind of a big part of it. I mean, honestly, Tai Kosh is, is, body, is body drop. And so we looked at a few different places. You can kind of drop your body as you rotate to make a good throw happen. In the same sense that that second can be done 30 different ways, so can Tai Kosh. Uh, but if we look at some of the things that, that were consistent, we had sort of this, uh, this dropping angle that was semi-diagonal. Uh, you had to keep them very tight to you uh, for the most part. You couldn't really have a lot of distance, otherwise it got very difficult. Uh, you had to make sure you drop with your hip and not just stick out a leg or try to yank them around with your upper body. Those are just like three good things that you should know about Tai Coach that are going to sort of transcend the particular one you're working on uh, into, into a lot of the others. Uh, and so far, I've seen a lot of that. Yeah, I thought, I thought you guys transitioned out really nicely in from your second and stuff like that. I, I'd like to, you know, Saturday, I think we're going to look at taking it more of the angle. You know, so we, we kind of got it to, we're rotating it here and kind of now got it to like this angle. So I'd like to get a little bit more, go a little bit tighter to going up a little bit more, the drop's a little bit harsher. Um, but you guys can break fall, it'll be fine. It's not, I mean, we're, just, we're not going to go from 15 degrees to 90. I mean, it's, we're just going to kind of slowly, so you can see, because there is, in the end, there is a smidgen different dynamic on Taya Kosh than there is in Gensakin either.
you know, and it's, and it's because of the positioning you can get this extra little dimension, but we want to kind of build on the knowledge that you have to kind of get there. You guys are doing well. And when you decide to you're doing it fine. You know, but there is a little bit that's different at the end. Yeah, so I just mostly want to make sure I get it clear in my head. So sometimes it feels like at the end, you reach near the end, you're kind of playing them out. Mm -hmm. And other times it feels like you're trying to corkscrew it inward. Yes! <laughs> oh, yeah, and, and it's like, is it usually like one or the other? Or is it times where they kind of mush together? Or? It's going to depend. We didn't get to this today, but, yeah. but I, I'm sure we'll get to some stuff mm -hmm. like it on Saturday where it's like, say, I'm my time. There's a big difference between, for example, he's, he's walking and pushing me. Well, I'll try depending on how it's feeling, I might probably want to fall out of the way a bit a little bit more and be high coach where I'm not taking as much of that ground. Um, this might be a bit more aggressive where, ooh, you know, kind of getting kind of getting some stuff here. We're actually still sort of doing high coach. Hmm. Um, it kind of depends. Uh, that's why both both entries are valid. You know, you can step in deep, step in a little As long as you get them off balance, you're trying to create a bit of an angle. You're dropping the hip out of the way, and they're falling into that hole. You're you're on the right track. Okay. Yeah. Uh, other question. That's a great question. That actually really helps summarize summarize kind of day one of this. So well done. Uh, and part and part of that is the transition between the, the adaptation of the Gensaki to the Thai coach. You know, is that and then finding okay, where do I need to get this person because it's not necessarily around. It's actually kind of up and over. Yeah. You know, and so great. How do I transition uh, like this to this, but then actually a little bit into them a little bit? The eye of the hurricane is actually dropping, coming back up around. You know, to be able to get that position to get them a little bit more this way as opposed to this way. And so part of this kind of wrapping it up, you're going to kind of see. Oh, I'm starting to see this now as I start changing this angle. It's like, yeah, because we're kind of getting closer. So you got to start getting previews of that aspect, that more that. Up and over feeling. It's, it's that nice, like almost like a still turbine that starts really fast and drops to this angle as it starts. It, it turns into this wind over this angle. It's, yeah. it's a really cool situation. Yeah. yeah. yeah for the thrower. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you really like going for a ride, yeah, you know? it's, a, it's, a, it's a fast throw. It's a very fast throw. But again, I've always I've always looked at Tai Chou's as it, it's person dependent. You know, if, if you know Jackie to do that type of throw, that up and over one, will be very hard with Jesse. You know, stuff like that. It would actually be vice versa, maybe hard too, because the center of gravity is typically have to be about the same. If there's a difference in the he in the center of gravity, it makes it tough. Because basically what you do is you're kind of flipping, you're getting your center of gravity kind of under there a little bit. You know, there's a little bit of a... It, it, it when you get them onto that one leg, yeah. when you get them onto that one leg, here you are, where's the center of gravity? Roughly about yay, mm -hmm. right? And we're sort of occupying that space. And they're relying on us because we're pulling them here. They want to kind of fall through, and then we're just getting out of the way. Letting that center of gravity go. That's that's a big part of what you're doing with all variations on this is getting this feeling. And center gravity's here. Now they're going around this. Right. Yeah. yeah. So the size difference, like so with Chris, maybe it's better for me to kind of corkscrew in and get over here. That's right. Yeah. So with like Jackson or Lynn, I want to be more like swaying them out. Yeah. Yeah, you're probably going to be a little more flat because you moving this way and then tilting to the side is tougher for them. Chris can adjust to that. Mm -hmm. And so that's why I like to show Tai Chokes kind of different ways because you don't know the person you're kind of dealing with. And if you're like, oh, I can do Tai Chokes on someone who's perfectly my height and you want to be shorter height, it's like, it doesn't work as well. That, that, part, that kind of level upward version, I need, to have those other, I need to know how to adjust those on those other angles too. I need to know how to go up, I need to know how to go this way, I need to know how to go this way, I need to have flat, how to increase it. And change from there and so what we're, we're going to be wrapping up a little bit more so we can start seeing that because that actually goes really nicely into horizon yeah. okay good job any questions yeah thanks josh all right real quick well nice job guys have a great evening yes, yes, yes.